This is the Davidson County Network. Hi, I'm Avery Matthews. And I'm Jamal Tara Kelly. And this is the Davidson County Network. Today, we're speaking with legendary NASCAR owner and business entrepreneur, Mr. Richard Childress. We're going to talk to him about his life, his career in NASCAR, the Childress Winery, his various charitable contributions, and maybe get a little marriage advice too. So sit back, have a nice cup of coffee, and enjoy the interview. Good morning, how are you? I'm doing great, Mr. Childress. How are you doing? Good, good. Good. Thank you for uh, doing this today. Um, I'll jump right into it because I know you're a busy man. Yeah, I'll kind um, of get out shortly. <laughs> all right. What was uh, what first sparked your interest to become a race car driver? And as everyone knows, later become team owner of Richard Childress Racing. You know, I uh, went to Bowman Gray Stadium as a kid and worked in the grandstand selling peanuts and popcorn and watching the race drivers and just seeing how everything went and I really loved it and I said well, that's what I want to do someday and uh, I ended up going out buying an old $20 race car and uh, uh, started racing at Bowman Gray Stadium. Oh wow. Now when someone hears the name Richard Childress they can't help but to also think of Dale Earnhardt of course. Right. The Childress Earnhardt duo is one of the greatest partnerships in sports history. What led you both to Davidson County, and how much support did you receive from Davidson County in the early days of RCR? Well, I've always been proud to be a, a you know, to live in Davidson County. Uh, I had bought a shop up in off of Highway 109, uh, off of Gum Tree Road, mm -hmm. and I uh, was on 109. Then I moved to Gum Tree Road and moved around some and. Ended up buying this piece of property where we we're at and built our first building in 1985. And, uh, you know, we've, we've had a great relationship with the Davidson County. You know, we was involved with the airport trying to help it get up and get going. We've done a lot of things. You know, we built our winery in Davidson County. Uh, we got our museum here. We, we bring a lot of people to the county. So just proud to be here in Davidson County. Well, speaking of the vineyards, um, Childress Vineyards was established in 2004. When did you develop your passion for wine, and what motivated you to establish a world-class vineyard in Davidson County? Well, I uh, I took a look at in the 70s when we was racing in California. Believe it or not, there was a lot of vineyards around, like in 73, 74, 75. There were a lot of vineyards in uh Ontario, California, and Riverside, California, and uh, so I, uh, that's where I got the passion for wine, and then I always, we started racing in Sonoma, and uh, the Finger Lakes up there in New York, and I said, man, if I ever get the money, I'd love to build a winery, and I looked at buying some wineries in California and in New York both, and uh, uh, I decided, you know, that, you know, we lost our cash crop of tobacco and uh, our textiles had gone uh, the other way and uh, our furniture market had really weakened and lost a lot of jobs and I figured why not do something here at home and support our local people and that's why we ended up building the winery here. Oh, that's awesome. Um, in 2008, you and your wife, Miss Judy Childress, founded the Childress Institute for Pediatric Trauma. Can you tell us a little bit about this? Yeah, I was out in uh, uh, California, I mean in Phoenix, Arizona, and I was speaking to some uh, neurosurgeons. Uh, Dr. Branch had asked me to do that from Wake Medical Center, and I went out there and uh, said, well, what can we do? You know, do we pay you or what? I said, do whatever you can for the, the children's hospital. If you can find something my wife and I can do uh, to support children, uh, let us know, and they came back with uh, trauma being the number one killer of children in America. It's more children die from trauma than all of the rest of them put together. And there was no notoriety of it, and there was no funds being being raised for it. 
and we just felt it was a mission that we'd like to do and, and make a difference. We've been able to so far. We just had our 10th anniversary last year. Oh, wow. Um, you and Mrs. Childress have been married for over 50 years. What advice can you give young couples on keeping their marriage strong for a lifetime? Uh, you know, marriage is a partnership, and partnerships has to work both ways. And, uh, you know, we just, it's just been fortunate that we both, both believed in each other as we got married when I was 21 and she was 21. And, uh, here we are 54 years later, uh, still living a dream. <laughs> well, here's my final question. Um, you've accomplished so much in your legendary career as a driver, owner, and business entrepreneur. You've won numerous championships and have been inducted into six Hall of Fames, including the NASCAR Hall of Fame in 2017. With all the accolades and titles that you have held throughout your lifetime, what do you want your ultimate legacy to be? You know, I think that uh, when anyone looks at Richard Childress, they just say, here's a man of his word, here's a man of integrity, he treats people like he wanted to be, he wants to be treated treats people like, you know, he wants to be treated. And that's just the way my life is. I just want to, and my family, you know, my, my grandsons and my daughter, and, uh, you know, it's all about family. Well, Mr. Childress, we appreciate your time, and I thank you so much for uh, being able to just spend a few minutes to answer a few of these questions. I thank you so much. Thank you.